this episode, we're going to explore the question, how do I reuse existing elements when clustered? So we've got a data set. It's the uh, 10 largest companies. We have information about the country they're headquartered in, the industry, their revenue. Uh, and then we also have information about the different countries and their GDP. So we've imported that into the map. The uh, circles are companies, and then the text is country and their size based on the GDP or overall um, uh, revenue. So what we want to do now, though, is cluster based on the headquarters. So we can open up settings and click clustering, uh, and then choose headquarters. But whoops, you'll see United States gets created here, but it also exists here. The reason why that happens is we match by the label and type. So we have United States and headquarters, and so we actually assign the type based on the field you're using for clustering as the default, whereas this has the country type. So we're going to do, we're going to turn this off um, and then uh, refresh our map and we'll take a different approach. Um, so instead of actually clicking to use the interface to do clustering, we're going to do what we call advanced clustering. The way advanced clustering works is uh, we're going to actually define what the type should be that we want to use. So we can say cluster. We still want to use the headquarters field, but we're going to say as country because we want it to have the country type to reuse those. And now we'll see magically everything connected to the United States uh, or China or whatever the relevant country is.